Hey guys, I really gotta tell you something because I was the whole night behind my uh, MacBook Pro because um, I updated my uh, MacBook Pro that had 10.13.6 High Sierra to 11.14 Big Sur. Um, the thing is that uh, my old MacBook, the old uh, software, used to use iTunes. And since I updated it, it doesn't see any iTunes, nor the media, nor the music files. So, the big question is, uh, what happened with the music files? What happened with iTunes? So, what I did is um, I checked on my Macintosh HD. I checked what uh, they did with the music files. And what I saw is uh, this. Let me switch my camera is that it used to be iTunes, iTunes Music. Uh, now it's music. So I was checking how the folders are organized. And now instead of iTunes and then the subfolder iTunes Music, it's now music and then media. And the most important folder is this music library folder. Um, that used to be the old iTunes library folder dot ITL or dot XML. In my case, it was iTunes library dot XML. The new one is called music library dot music library. What did I do to solve the problem of uh, not seeing my music and my lists? I have my external drive right here. What I did is my old iTunes folder. I um, updated it. Well, I didn't update it. I changed actually the name of the folder where my iTunes was because I'm keeping my iTunes in an external drive. And um, I named the main folder exactly the same as on my uh, Macintosh HD, which is called uh, Music, then Media. And here is where all your loose folders are. So what did I do? I renamed this music folder, which used to be iTunes. Let me show you. It's a bit slow. Uh, I thought it was really important to tell you about this because it's not mentioned anywhere. This music folder used to be called iTunes. And in iTunes, there used to be an iTunes music folder with the iTunes music folders, but before it switched into the music folder, which is now media, uh, there was an iTunes library in the iTunes folder, which is here. This used to be iTunes music, and this used to be the old music folder. I renamed the iTunes music folder. I called it music as on the HD. I renamed the iTunes music folder into music and then the music folder into media. Now, a really important step that I did is in this media folder where all the music folders are loose. You can see that here. Sorry for me shaking. I just want to upload this for all the people that are having trouble. So uh, maybe I'm going to upload a better video later. But what I did... The old iTunes folder, as you can see, was iTunes Music Library or iTunes Library.itl or iTunes Library.xml. That folder you actually have to move in your new renamed media folder. And it's just in between your music folders where, you know, this little thing is. It's, sorry, it's not that fast anymore. Um, since a new update, it's doing this a lot. Uh, I will. Um, see what I can do to make it faster. But the important thing is that old iTunes library folder that was here, I renamed it. This is a trick, guys. Listen up. I renamed that folder, which is now in the media folder. Let me go down. Bear with me. Bear with me, guys. Um... I have to uh, go through like 92,000 uh, folders. Uh, well, at least 92,000 songs for everyone else that uses it as uh, I do as a 
playlist and uh, a compilation of everything that you've been uh, collecting during the years with your uh, CDs and everything. So I'm going down now to go to music. I'm not looking for it because that's only going to take longer. So I'm just scrolling down now until I'm with the M and the U. Here we go. Wait, I passed it. Okay. Let me see. Music. Do you see this folder here, guys? This name, music library dot music library. What I literally did is I changed the name of this folder into music library dot music library and I moved it from the iTunes music folder to that new media folder where all those other folders are and uh, I put it in there okay and what you do next very important thing when you uh, renamed your folders and you changed your music library dot music library um, the important thing is that in your music folder right here you have to go to your preferences and by files here you have to put that same path what you just renamed so uh, this should be your disk name if it's external then external if it's internal then the internal disk uh, probably your username what's in between then uh, music uh, in my case uh, in dutch music uh, the name then and then the music file folder that you renamed and that media folder that you renamed. so you what you do is uh, you push this button and then you go to that uh, external disk or internal disk where that uh, folder is so uh, in this case it's the this disk and then it's by uh, my username then it's in a, a, another music folder but in dutch so that it's not the same name as this one then it's uh this folder where all the music is but you're not ending there you're ending that path in media so this is the whole uh path okay and then you press open and then you will see that that those steps that you follow to get to that path is exactly in your files of your music folder which is in this case my uh external disk my username uh, a music folder but then in dutch named and then the music folder that we renamed that used to be the itunes folder and then the media so that's very important before you start importing uh, your library and the importing of your library when you renamed everything is uh, also to be done here either by uh, import playlists by library or import and then what you do is you go to that music library dot music library folder and that's in your music slash media slash music library dot music library folder that's either this way or by importing it so either you import it or you use that as your new library okay once that is done after putting in the right path then it's going to wait and process for a long time if it's a big playlist and then you will end up like me with your music lists and uh, I have folders and those are again in subfolders and then you should not have any problems anymore finding your music so let me know if it worked for you and good luck with this process